Action from the second round of the Sac Joaquin Section Division II playoffs at Golden Eagle Stadium. It's Del Oro hosting Whitney. Both teams coming in with long win streaks. Del Oro had an eight-game win streak on the line. Whitney, seven game, both league champs. And going strong, Del Oro would get off to a 14-0 lead on a 49-yard touchdown run. And this one-yard touchdown run by Dylan Canerath before Whitney would come back on a school record 47-yard field goal by senior Jordan Trainer. And then with a minute 32 left in the first half, Whitney blocked a punt, took it over at the one yard line. And on the next play, Drew Romo finds Trainer there for the touchdown. And then Trainer would run it in for the two point conversion, cutting the Delaro lead 14 11 at the half. But Casey Taylor took his team in the half, reminding them why they're the Golden Eagles and why they play the tough schedule. And Jonathan Tuttle took that one to heart. The senior had two touchdown receptions and an interception in the second half for Deloro as they went on to beat Whitney 35 to 11 and will host Yuba City in the semifinals of Division II playoffs next week at Golden Eagles Stadium. Casey is Jonathan, the real Johnny football. Uh, he looked like it tonight in the second half. You know, we've been uh, trying to find ways to get him the ball. Man, he stepped up and took over in the second half, got him on a couple big uh, passes, and he had a big pick on defense. It really just changed the momentum. Uh, Got to give Whitney credit. They came over and uh, made a lot of plays. Uh, felt early on we had a chance to kind of get it going. Um, just didn't take advantage of some opportunities. Uh, to their credit, they um, you know, got a big field goal, blocked a punt, and uh, had a lot of momentum going to half and kind of challenged our guys at half. Uh, you know, what are we about? What are we going to do this next 24? And I think Tuttle took that to heart. And, uh, Is Jonathan the new Johnny football? That's what we call him. He makes plays. Uh, it was huge. We, we really were beating ourselves out there in the first half. Uh, the blocked punt. They only had like two first downs the whole game. Uh, for the first half and so we were really just killing ourselves and we just stepped up in the second half got a big win and we just want to get it on next week time Yuba City they beat Grant tonight 27 12 wow no that's you know, an impressive win you know they're uh, they're a good team we played there last year in the playoffs uh, you know we'll uh, we'll see how it goes we'll uh, kind of worry about the, you know enjoy this week this weekend uh, we got to heal up a little bit got a couple guys dinged up and um, you know but we'll uh, get some drawing board on Sunday breaking down Yuba City and uh, they're obviously we need to the stage final four they're going to be uh, really good especially us going up there and beating them last year. I'm sure they're going to come with some revenge. And, and in Loomis, reporting for the Auburn Journal, I'm Trevor Horn.